I've played him before in some different formats. I'm sure he plays g6. Eh? But most Azari players would they play g6. No um uh you know no generalizations of course based on nationality. We'd never do that on this stream. Uh, I see people do her queen d3 maybe? I feel like I've had this as... I feel like I've had this as, um, as black in some game recently, or fairly recently. The idea is to meet this with knight b5. Oh, so this makes a lot of sense. I go like knight a2, and then a5. Nah, I don't think that makes a lot of sense. Okay, let's go rook d1. I really don't know what my plan is here. Five now. I'm allowing. I'm really not, really not feeling it right now. Howdy from Colorado. My volume is fine. I'm just too far away. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, we'll try and fix it after. After this game, during the break. Meanwhile, in this game, I'm just worse with white, but, you know, things could, could of course, turn around. Preparing knight g4, I think. Uh, what should I do about that? I got knight b1, maybe. Just go to f1, but I don't like this one bit. Out of six, just have a poor position without a lot of counterplay. Okay, I'm gonna just do something to try and confuse him a little bit, break the trend, as they say, because the trend was really not in my favor. This I'm going to take and bishop d4 and I have some threats of bishop f6 and two bishops. Uh, okay, bishop a6, bishop c3. Now I was hoping he would take this. I think he could have taken on a4 and gotten another pawn, but now I have. Uh, I'm still worse, but I have a little life for my pieces. So I have a little hope that I may be able to confuse him now. Should I go to a5? Maybe I go with the bishop to a5 actually. A little um, Zwischen Zug there. Is that a Zwischen Zug? Yeah, I think that's a Zwischen Zug before I move the knight. Okay, rook b1, try and fight for the file. Knight h7, yeah, that's a good move. Okay, I think I think I would want to trade that bishop. That bishop is really strong. If you could have taken on b1 and then f1, then I would have had to give up another pawn. But it would have been pretty risky strategically for him. Because my rook would invade on the on the b file. And here I think I'm gonna give up the h2 pawn and just go for it on the on the queen side. I think practically speaking, I'm all right here. So he goes for, goes for the second pawn, but now I am going to win c6 and I am going to win uh, a7. So it becomes, it becomes a race, which 
in which it seems to me that I'm ahead at the moment. Okay, so we'll move the knight first. I don't know if I need to take, but I will. I'll probably just go bishop b4 and then run. Don't see any particular problems with that. You can go h. Oh, this is what I missed. Don't know if he's quite queening the pawn, but I I wanna. I wanna play it somewhat safer. Knight f three. So knight g three, and then I'm safe. Can I win? That's the question. Okay, let's get the pawn to a6 first. Now bishop a5. Is he not losing the knight here? Yeah, he's losing the knight. Bishop b1, that's a trap. That's a trap knight in the corner where the knight really doesn't like his life. Okay, pretty uh, poor game, but we got another win.